so hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you another project which is built in php so uh, this is the student student management system and um, here we are going to show you the complete functionality of the project before we start the flow of the project we'll show some database and database the table as it's running the data the mysql database is running on the php my admin so you can see here the tables are attendance fees mark sheet of the subjects and the user table so if i'm gonna uh, open the user table uh, you will see three types of user in this the first one is admin faculty and the student so the role id uh, one will be for the i guess a student one one for for the admin and the two for the student and three for the faculty so let's now let's check the flow okay. so this is your database and if i'm gonna the home page so it's a simple design home page we are not going to provide any kind of like huge uh, design or if you need we'll add some images like designing part or uh, designing part or that uh, images we can add the images and the slide views and all so let's see uh, let's log in as an administrator like i already logged in here as an administrator so let me start the project from the initial stage so here i'm going to I'm, I'm going to log in as a <coughs> as an admin so the admin password is this and the password is one two three four five so this is the home page this is the home page and if, if after a login by the admin admin can perform some operations like add subject attendance user and fees so if i'm gonna add a subject so i'm gonna uh, going to this page and add the subject name like uh, demo and the description this is for demo only and when i click on the save the data added successfully now now check in the detail section you can check the added details so if i'm going to show the subject detail you can see the new detail is there demo this is demo and uh, similarly he can add attendance for a particular user or particular subject so if i'm going to select the subject so for add attendance i just added a subject here which is demo and uh, want to enter some date here so if i click this button will be work and if you want to select some date from the calendar you can select from there also select the student right now there is a one student in the database so it's showing only one record and the lecture title demo title and the status <coughs> active or deactive so i'm going to save it as active the data is saved successfully now let's switch to the detail and check that in this detail so you can see the two details are there and same add user if admin want to add a new user or a new student he can add from here so there are three types of users so admin need to select uh, is it another admin or a student or faculty so according to that he can fill this complete form like school code gender emails uh, country or something complete data and enter the address two address one and save so it will add the user here and add the fees detail for that particular student like select the student and key then i want to select a particular date and then the amount like like, like six thousand and the total fees and whatever the fees paid fees and this is balance fees i'm going to save it the data it successfully check the fees detail so the need recently detail is there so this is the administration part from where uh, admin can add these details and if i uh, talk about the details so admin can check the student detail admin 
is showing the 10 entries right now it will show according to the data if data increase the, 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 the you, you, you can select the number of uh, rows in this table and the data is shorting according to this icons and if you want to edit the data you can edit from here like I'm gonna edit the surname I click on the save and the surname is saved again check the student detail the surname is edited here so you edit by this icon you can delete it and if I'm gonna click the attendance detail so you can see in the attendance detail also you can perform the sorting operation like this and according to the name all the sorting icon is working and uh, if you want to edit some data you can edit it and uh, and if you want uh, oh sorry i just logged out Where was I? okay if you want to delete this you can click on the delete button so the data will be recorded the record is deleted successfully same if you want to check, check, check the subject detail you can perform the delete edit code operation in that subject also and if you want the result detail if you want to see the result detail you can see the complete result detail here if you want to see the fees detail you can see it and at the end admin can change or edit his profile from here and finally the logout the session and let's log in with another user and let's see the functionality of that so at the user number two is so at the rate gmail.com so i'm going to log in with this and the password i guess same yes so as i logged in here so this is the faculty who can add a subject who can add attendance who can add a mark sheet here so and the details we can check the result we can check the student detail and check the attendance detail and the subject details so so this is the profile for uh, I guess for the faculty and the last one and the um, faculty also perform the crude operations like edit delete update and for some support for, for, for some details like for the attendance and for the student detail and the, for the result detail and you can add some add subject attendance and mark mark it so when I click on the logout button and uh this time i'm gonna log in as a student which is anki thirty one two three at the right and password is one two three four so i'm gonna enter the username and the password is same i'm gonna save it again so get marks it so ankit has to enter his role number so let me check where is the role number in the database so it here, 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 here. I guess it's in the user table no it's, it's it will be in the mark sheet table so if i'm going to enter the rule number for the ankit which is 50 and uh, view so you can see here the demo all the result of the particular user the mark sheet is generated and um, again the student can check the subject details he can check my attendance he can check his fees detail and he can he can't do uh, some like edit and update operation so because it's a, it's, a, it's a from a admin operation it's from the admin side or it's from the um, faculty side finally uh, student gonna log out from the application and this is the project in PHP if you need this source code uh, you can comment me in the below or you can or will provide a link in the description box where you can check the price and all and all the details the process to get this project and uh, one more thing will provide the complete configuration at your machine will connect your machine remotely will make that project run at your machine will provide the project report with a complete diagram like ER diagram dfd and the flowchart diagram so if you need this please contact on the below detail uh, you will check you you will get the email number uh, sorry email e email and the contact number so you can ping me over the whatsapp team will my team will be uh, connected with you and uh, will configure the complete project at your machine so if you need some code explanation the code configuration project configuration at your machine will provide everything so thank you so much for and if you need some java project also if you are looking for some kind of java project so you can switch to the code one 
and uh, from the code one you will get the list of java project here so if, if you go in the project section just click on the project in java so you, can, you will get the lots of java projects are there so you can get the project and like this similarly you will get the link for the this project php projects and from here you can read the complete description you can check the demos and uh, you can check the price and the contact detail you can contact details you can ping me over the skype also you can send me mail over the, this id jcode1 at the gmail.com or you will share my contact detail also thank you if and uh, if you are now looking for some kind of viva questions you can uh, follow some links there thank you